on everybody welcome to how to Tuesday today I'm out here with my friend Captain Scott Brown we're getting ready to permit fish so we're going to talk about a little permit fishing 101 how to hook the crab exactly what rig we're using and, and everything so what I like is definitely a circle hook a circle hook improved my odds of hooking up from I don't know maybe 50% the fish used to grab the crab they'd smash it about half of them would get hooked half of them would come out when I switch to a circle hook I'm telling you it's about 95% if you're not using circle hooks for permit you definitely should be it it, it will definitely 100 if you take anything away from this from this tip right here using a circle hook will improve your chances better than almost anything that you can do so I'm using a 3 aught. This is a Gamakatsu. I particularly like the Worldwide Sportsman. Um, it's a very simple circle hook. It's a short shank circle hook. If I don't have those, I'll use the Gamakatsu Octopus hook. This is a 3 aught. I'll use a 4 aught for larger crabs, a 3 aught for smaller crabs, and I'm going to try to match the size of the hook to the size of the crab. Now, speaking of the size of the crab, we got a few different crabs here to choose from and I'm going to base my crab choice one on what's available uh, at certain times of the year the second thing I'm going to choose it on is my preferred size so this little tiny one in my right hand here in my opinion is a little small permit are gonna love it it's gonna be great something something this size right here is gonna be fantastic if you can get it to the permit so a lot of times one this small you're just not gonna have enough weight to cast it here's another one that's just slightly bigger there's gonna be enough weight to cast it a little bit further but still it's kind of a little bit on the small side he's got that guy by the leg this one these two here are getting much much closer to my absolute perfect size this one is going to be the one I'm going to choose today. It's just heavy enough, and also it doesn't have this egg sac hanging off the back. Rich thinks that when they have the egg sac, they die a lot faster. Ever since he's told me that, I've started paying more attention to it, and I do believe that that is true, that the ones like that die a lot faster. So when you're choosing them in the, in the well, you can pick these kind right here where they don't have that egg sac on them, and they tend to live a little better. Now, the thing about permit fishing is that you definitely want your crab to be very, very lively. That's the key to fishing, to the difference between catching them on a crab, which a lot of people say is very easy, catching them on a jig. On a jig or a fly, nothing's moving. When you throw this guy in there, his legs are kicking, he's moving, and the permit wants to eat him. It's not just smell, it's movement for the most part. So we wanna hook this thing in a way that the crab is gonna stay alive. Now, as you look right here, you see that there's some coloration right along the edge of the shell, and then it turns white. The further I hook the crab into this white part, like if I was to go through right there, it is not gonna last very long. So I wanna get this right on the edge to where it's barely in that white. And I'm gonna push just the tip of the hook in there, and I'm gonna roll it through like that. And then instead of just cramming it through right there where you're gonna break the shell, I'm just gonna drill it. I'm gonna take the hook, and I'm gonna just drill back and forth like a drill until just that barb pops through like that. Now, it's gonna be very difficult for the hook to back out, and I always want the hook to be up like this, so that when that thing goes in the water and it falls down, the permit's gonna bite it, and this hook is gonna go right into the corner of the mouth pretty much every time. So, that's how you're gonna hook the crab. We're gonna have this on about a 20 to 25 pound leader, if you care to have that, if you're fishing braid. Uh, fluorocarbon leader, just to the braid. And we're gonna be fishing 15 pound, you know, 10 to 15 pound Daiwa J braid. And um, that's it, that's the rig on a seven foot St. Croix, um, eight to 17 pound Avid is what we're using today. Right on, so that's how you do it. And hopefully, just like we said, right in the corner of the mouth. Let's see where he was hooked. And right in the corner. Where is it? Right in this corner. Look at that. Right in the corner of the mouth, hook up, just like that. So when it all works out, it's that little guy right there. That little hook, the right size crab, and this is the result. Right on.
So that's permit fishing with a crab. If you hook it like that, I think you're gonna improve your chances greatly. All right, we'll see you next week.